Hello and welcome back to another Python in Excel video. Back in video 11, I showed you how to change the behavior of the Excel method by creating a new function that has the same signature as Excel.convert to data frame and then passing it into this Excel.set Excel array conversion method. In that video, I showed you how to change the output of the Excel method from data frame to a NumPy array. That's one example of what you can do. Another thing that you might want to do is just change how the method works, but still returns a data frame. I've got some fake data here, date, product, quantity, total, and price, but price is calculated with a formula. And because I've got a missing quantity on a row, I've got a divide by zero error in this formula result. If the Excel method finds an error, in the range that you pass to it, it will convert that error into a not a number value in the column that it found the error. So in this example, it's in the price column, it's converted it to not a number, but it still returned the data frame. But what if you don't wanna do that? What if you want the Excel method to fail and throw an error if it finds an error in the source data? We can use the same approach as video 11 to achieve this behavior. In this cell, I've created a new function called convert to DF no errors. What I'm doing is I'm taking the list of lists, which is X, and that's essentially the range that you pass to the Excel method. And I am first iterating over the rows. The enumerate method returns the row position and the row itself. The row is a list of values which correspond to each of the columns in that row. So we can then enumerate over the columns in the row, get the column index, and get the value from the cell. We can then check, is the value in the cell an exception? So is it a divide by zero error? Is it a value error? Is it a connect error? Is it a calc error? Is it any of the Excel errors that you might? Find? If it is, it calls this raise line. First of all, get the type of the error that was found. Now, every Excel error has a type. So this returns the class of the error that was found. In this case, div zero error. By opening a new set of parentheses after the class that is returned by the type call, we are instantiating a new error. In this example, I'm passing a custom message into a new instance, the div zero error class. Okay, so this is actually going to raise a new error based on the original error that was found by giving it more information about where it found the error, saying, okay, what is the original error? And what row did I find it on? And what column did I find it on? Finally, there's some code to handle the headers argument and return the data frame properly if there are no errors. Once you've defined the function, you pass it into this set Excel array conversion method. And that line is what changes how the Excel method behaves. So just to recap, before we make the change, the div zero error is converted into a not a number value because that's the default behavior. After we make the change, we get this lovely error message, which is if zero error, the error is found on row 10, column four. Remember, Python is zero indexed. So that's going to be spreadsheet row 11 and spreadsheet column five. Let's see what happens when we change the Let's see what happens when we change a uh, value or put a, a fake value, a fake error in here. So let's put a calc error here that recalculates. Now we've got calc error at row one, column three. So that's pretty much it. By creating this small function, identifying where the error is and creating a new instance of the same type of error, we can now make sure that when we are creating a data frame, we are made aware of the error cells before we continue with any other work. So we can go back and fix these error cells and then recreate the data frame and be sure that any not a number values are due to empty cells and not due to converted errors. And that's the end of the video. Have a great day.